way, then just get the hell out of mine. Oh, 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 I should do that. Hello, viewers. Welcome back to my another video. Thursday, March 30 recap of The Young and the Restless. Phyllis collapses with weak pulse. Jeremy drops marriage bomb. According to The Young and the Restless, Y and R, spoilers recap for Thursday, March 30, Amanda Sinclair, Michelle Morgan, will be persuaded by Abby Newman Abbott, Melissa Ordway, to hear Devin Hamilton, Brighton James, out before leaving. Amanda will accompany Devin back to the pub, where he will confess to having abandoned the lawsuit and made up with Lily Winters, Crystal Cullill. Following Devin's discussion of his bad choices, Amanda will become irate, accusing him of breaking her heart on his quest for self-discovery. Devin will want Amanda to know that he is sincerely sorry, even if he won't expect her to forgive him for betraying her. Lily will accompany Devin as he makes attempts to reconcile with Amanda, but soon after they will join the drama taking on in the lounge. At the party, Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, will cause a commotion, but Danny Romilotti, Michael Graziati, will attempt to step in and stop her. Insisting that Danny is aware of her transformation, Phyllis will portray Diane Jenkins, Susan Walters, as the issue. Following Phyllis' discussion about Diane forsaking Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, and receiving a pass, she will assert that she would do anything and give her life for her own children. Diane will begin to waver while Phyllis berates her before finally collapsing. In an effort to determine what is wrong with Phyllis, Summer Newman Abbott, Allison Lanier, and Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Graziadi, will come to her help. They will require medical attention, so Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinel, will call Nate Hastings, Sean Dominic, and Elena Dawson, Brittany Sarpy, to the living room. Elena will request that the EMTs act quickly because she won't even be able to detect her pulse. Nate and Elena will want to take Phyllis to the hospital as soon as possible since she will be breathing shallowly. Because Phyllis won't have alcohol on her breath, Nate won't suspect that she has been drinking. As far as Summer is aware, Phyllis won't have any allergies or use any medications. Kyle will mention that Phyllis was shouting over Jack Abbott's Peter Bergman, engagement news when she passed out, which Nate will ask if anything may have provoked this. Daniel and Summer will both feel bad about pushing Phyllis away. Daniel and Summer will be concerned that they won't get a chance to set things right, but they will receive comfort from their loved ones. Kyle agrees to meet Summer at the hospital if she chooses to travel with Daniel in the ambulance. Victoria will appear irritated with Audra Charles, Zalika Silver, when she tells her that Nate is a guy of many abilities in the middle of all of this. Barbara Crampton's Lena Love will inquire about this entire incident as well, but Victoria will tell her to go to hell. Diane will see her engagement ring in Phyllis' hand once EMT Carson, Walter Belenke, has Phyllis on a stretcher. Jack will think back and conclude that Jeremy Stark, James Hyde, must have pickpocketed it earlier once Diane brings it up to him. Jack will behave as though anything is possible with those two, despite Diane being perplexed as to why Jeremy would take her ring and give it to Phyllis. Diane will return her ring as discreetly as she can, but EMT Carson will still see her and raise an eyebrow. When Jeremy shows in, he will want to know what happened, and will bend down next to Phyllis calling her my love. Jeremy will reassure Phyllis that everything will be well and promise to support her at every turn. Jeremy won't be permitted to go in the ambulance, but he won't let anybody stop him from going to the hospital. While Kyle will try to convince Jeremy that this is none of his concern, Jeremy will give some disturbing developments. Jeremy will assert, whenever I have my answers, I will be right at my wife's side. Phyllis officially became Mrs. Stark three days earlier, and Jeremy will counter that they had intended to make the announcement today. The party guests will all appear doubtful, but Jeremy will present them as strangers who connected because they were all against Phyllis. Also, Jeremy will assert that Phyllis sought protection because she feared Diane. 
Jeremy will press Diane to admit what she did to Phyllis after implying that Phyllis' worries were justified. Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, will wait for Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, to arrive to Crimson Lights with cheeseburgers from a fast food drive through When Adam is caught, he will confess that he followed Sally because he saw her touch her abdomen and then depart quickly. Adam will now see there was no reason to be alarmed and will volunteer to go. Adam can remain if he wants, Sally will say, as they need to start working out a way to go back to normal. Nick will appear upset over Adam's stalking, but if Summer texts her father to meet her in the hospital, Nick will soften his attitude. Nick will ask Adam to see to it that Sally gets home safely because he needs to go right away. Sally will eventually sit down with Adam and enjoy her burger and fries, which she will top with spicy sauce just as Adam recalled. Sally will wipe some hot sauce off of her lip when Adam calls her attention to it as they have an awkward yet heated moment. Sally will feel that since they would be in one other's life forever, they should do something to resolve this embarrassing situation. Tucker McCall, Trevor Street John, would briefly defend Diane at the Abbott home and pretend that perhaps her love for Jack is genuine. Tucker will be hoping for a second chance with Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson, after Jack and Diane were given one. When Jack isn't paying attention to her, Ashley won't believe the circumstances are the same and will get weary. Tucker will point out that Ashley's frequent warnings are ineffective, and he'll conclude that Ashley should try taking action instead. Ashley will be curious as to what Tucker would recommend as he will nudge her to shake Jack up and give him a jab between the eyes. Tucker will demand in the Y and R episode entering on Thursday, Marry Me. Keep an eye out for any engagement rumors as Tucker will reportedly continue to battle for a future with Ashley, according to spoilers from The Young and the Restless. Thanks for watching my video.